that you're so preoccupied with your own life that you don't even have the time to actually see what other people are doing with theirs. The problem is, however, that we're comparing ourselves to other people. Instead, we should be comparing ourselves to one person that is ourselves. And what we tend to do is that we compare our everyday life with their, the best moments of their lives. We all know that we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to others because it makes us miserable and it makes us feel envious and it makes us feel insecure. But what we also know is that it is way more easily said than done. So how can we finally stop comparing ourselves to others? So the first tip would be to remember that what you're seeing of other people's lives is usually their highlights reel. They only post and show what they want to, what they find great, so they can actually show off with what an incredible life they have instead of actually showing their everyday life. And what we tend to do is that we compare our everyday life with their the best moments of their lives. Everyone wants to somehow pretend that they're perfect. That's why we always see couples who are really, really happy, always on holiday, and how everything is wonderful, and we don't see them fighting. And no one is showing anyone what they're insecure about. And to compare their highlight reel with our everyday life doesn't really make sense. And then the second tip would be to live a life that is so great that you're not concerned about what other people are doing at the moment. That you're so preoccupied with your own life that you don't even have the time to actually see what other people are doing with theirs. Because think about it, most of the time when we scroll through social media, it's to kill our boredom. And of course, when we're bored, we're not living a great life. And while we're bored, we're watching all these people doing these incredible things. And then in the moment, of course, you're comparing yourself being bored with them doing the greatest things that they've ever done in their life. And then, of course, you're going to feel bad about yourself. And then the third tip would be that, yes, we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to others, but not comparing ourselves at all actually is a problem. We need some kind of standard, some kind of way we can orient ourselves to know whether we're improving or not. So simply not comparing ourselves to anyone isn't necessarily the best solution. The problem is, however, that we're comparing ourselves to other people. Instead, we should be comparing ourselves to one person that is ourselves. According to Ernest Hemingway, true nobility isn't superiority over other people, it's superiority over your former self. But that raises the next question. How do we know whether we are better than yesterday or not? we need to track how well we did the day before. And that is why habit tracking is also extremely important, not only for developing habits, but also so that we manage to compare ourselves to ourselves instead of others. But of course, we can't track everything in our lives. That's impossible. If we do that, we'd go <laughs> completely nuts. So you can only track a couple of things. And that is why you, and this would be the fourth tip, you need to know your own value standards so that you know what you are going to pay attention to and what you're not going to pay as much attention to. The reason why we compare ourselves to others are usually when we compare ourselves to their achievement, their popularity or material possessions. All of those are very external things. And the reason why we tend to look for external things to measure our own value is because most of us aren't necessarily aren't necessarily clear on our actual values. And this is why we look for the external things that everyone says would make us happier. For example, when it comes to money, happiness does go up until a certain point, but as soon as you've reached $75,000 a year, even if you get more money, you're not necessarily going to be happier, it kind of plateaus. So of course, money, if you're struggling to survive, is going to make you happy because then you don't have to deal with all the stress of how am I going to survive, how am I going to pay my bills. But as soon as all your needs are actually covered, you don't necessarily need more money than that, and more money won't make you happier. So instead of searching for these external things, we should ask ourselves what our own internal values are. And then the fifth tip, and maybe one of the most important tips here, is that the reason why we are running this rat race and therefore comparing ourselves to others the whole time is because 
we are looking for external validation. In order to not need this external validation anymore, you need to give yourself a little more internal validation. So basically you need to improve your self-talk. If you want to know how to do that, you can watch this video here.